Hey guys, I'm Derek, the children's pastor of Lakewood Christian Center. And I want to show you guys how to do this, this magnifying object lesson. And what you need to do it is a magnifying glass. You, you, well, what you need to do it is a magnifying glass and a Bible. That's all you actually need. These two are optional. A small object and then a matching larger object to the small one. Those are optional if you want to do the uh, extra little thing that Dodo did. So, what you're doing here it's pretty simple. You show the Bible and you see how show how they can't see the words on the page. And then you talk about how the magnifying glass is like the Holy Spirit because it makes things bigger when you look through the magnifying glass. And the Holy Spirit kind of does the same thing. It, it helps you see, helps you understand better. It's, it's a more powerful tool in a way to understand God. And then the, the other part of the, the object lesson is with the two balls, which you only think it's one. And so what you want to do is, Dodo had both of them in the pocket, like this. So he reaches in, grabs them, so that this big one is hidden inside the palm of the hand, and this one is in the fingers. Brought it to the chest, and the idea here is that there's two reasons you bring it to the chest. One is so that it's furthest away so that you can sh do the magnifying glass without having to do something like this. So there's actual practical reason you do it. And the second one is for cover. You want more cover. You can actually, I can actually turn a little more if I have it on my chest. If I'm like this and I make this turn or I make this, or if I turn like that, it's, it's just minimizing the possibility of somebody seeing that, that huge ball. And of course you can use anything that uh, this has a basic matching uh, pattern or thing a small die and a large die or anything like that would work and so you show it you put it, the magnifying glass to it and what you want to do is kind of create a distortion moment where it's far enough away so that if this is blocking their view everybody's looking more at the magnifying glass instead of your hands and so while they're doing that I'm going to show you what I'm doing here while they're all looking at the magnifying glass I'm dropping this ball down and pushing this ball up. Okay, so that's if you're going to use the balls. If you're going to use something else, you may need a slightly different method, but this just should work for almost everything. So you just switch them like that. And so if you see this, you're like this, it comes out. Their, their vision is on the magnifying glass. You switch it, and the changes in the magnifying glass shouldn't be too big, but and, and then you bring it back, and it's actually larger now. If you take too long like this, you're going to come back and they're going to think this is the same ball because that actually happened to Dodo when he did it. So you want to try and keep a good pace. You do this, out, everybody's looking there, switch it, bring it back, now it's bigger. So, and but if that doesn't work, it doesn't matter as long as you talked about the Bible verse and, or the Bible and how they could see it better and you got all that across, then that's the most important part. So, enjoy guys. See you later.